Satyush Shatan and today I am going to explain how to inherit JS in Odoo. When we develop some features in Odoo or we want to change some already existing functionality and if there is JS involved in that part, it becomes so complex. This is because we sometimes get stuck in that part of JS. So today I am simplifying those concepts for you guys. There are two type of JavaScript used in Odoo. The first one is Backbone JS, which includes include and extend keyword to inherit different classes. The other one is Component JS, which contains extends and patch keyword to inherit JS for different classes in Odoo. In the base or default code of Odoo, you can look for different examples. Here are a few examples of these type of JS. So this one is the extend JS. This one is the backbone JS and this one is the component JS. Okay. So let's go through with these concepts one by one and understand these concepts of JS. So let's. So the first one is backbone JS. And this is the example of backbone JS. Here in the default code, uh, a new class is formed using extend keyword. Okay, so in backbone JS, uh, we use extend function for creating a new class which will be child class of already existing one. So here, a form view barcode handler is uh, the new class, uh, and I and uh, Udo is uh, extending the effect field class. Okay, there is the other example where. Uh, we, uh, Udo has created uh, this one and uh, by, by using the ex extension of uh, the options dot class class ok if we want to inherit in the backbone JS where we need to override certain function or to create a new function for the already existing classes we use include function with this, we can perform different functionality in Odoo. Here are a few examples. These are the examples of uh, in, uh, inherit, uh, inherited class uh, using include keyword. Okay, so using this include keyword, uh, we can override the existing classes. Okay, we can override the functions of the existing classes this is the another example of this so here it is uh, inheriting this uh, dialog class uh, and uh, and overriding this uh, is block function okay we can do th same for this one this is the another example of uh, backbone js uh, in which uh, include keyword is used uh, where some um, Udo is overriding the this uh, function compute visibility. Okay, this type of JS also used in website or creating certain widgets like these one. Okay, this is uh, in the website uh, we generally use a public widget in dot registry, and uh, then we uh, create a new class uh, and uh, use it for our website. Uh, if we want to, th this type of uh, JS mainly used in uh, Udo 13, 14, 15 versions uh, for creating widgets. The second and most important type of JS used in Udo is component JS. We use this JS for creating different components. Here are some examples of uh, this type of JS. So, this is the example of uh, this is the example of uh, the component JS. Yes. Here, a uh, new component is created uh, that is called uh, publish stray, and uh, we can cre cre create by uh, this, this one created by extension of component. So, we can create like this one. If we want to inherit some component or use it for overriding function or adding a new function in already existing component, then we use patch function for that purpose. 
the following is the example so this is the example of the of using patch keyword if we can use this one for the overriding the already existing function so here is a here is udo is a overriding this a go to route keyword go to right uh, go to route uh, function which exists in bomb overline class so to use this patch function we must uh, use by this way this is the class this, this is the mainly the class which it had imported from uh, this this path and uh, we use dot prototype for uh, calling the existing class then we use uh, this one the purchase mrp uh, here you can uh, uh, you, you can write the a keyword or something mainly the uh, name of the file okay so here it is uh, writing the purchase purchase mrp which uh, so for this particular patch we can search it using purchase mrp okay this is the another example of patch used in odoo here it is uh, inheriting navbar and uh, writing is at uh, website underscore navbar in this uh, it, it it has uh, override this set of function also it this has uh, overrided the sister items uh, function you can do like this way this is the another example of uh, using patch in odoo so this is this so this is so much useful and convenient the component js is so much useful in odoo because uh, in odoo 17 most of the js is written in component js the mail module pos module web module and most of the other modules contain this type of js only this will be so much useful and convenient for adding new functionality in odoo using js also in odoo 16 the most of the widgets are uh, are made up of uh, this component js in odoo 13 14 and 15 uh, the G, uh, js used for creating widgets was uh, pegone js but in 16 and the upcoming ver versions uh, like 17 or maybe 18 they will um, they, they are at, they are creating the widgets as a component js so they are they have created a component for the particular widget so these were the different type of js used in odoo in next video i am going to explain how to inherit xml in odoo for js as well as python so thank you so much for watching us please do like share and subscribe and suggest more topics for these type of videos thank you